For more on that, let's hear from Ian Eagle and Richard Jefferson. Bird. Thank you, Bob. This one is going to sting for a while for Brooklyn. The Nets had this game in their hands down the stretch, up by five. Bradley Beal makes that three, a steal. Russell Westbrook makes a three. And then the Nets still have enough time to maybe get the W. Richard <sighs> Timotei Lawawu Cabarro misses inside, and the Nets take a very tough loss in Washington, D.C. Wizards have won four games, two of them against Brooklyn. And, and look, let's not understate the whole Russell Westbrook, uh, Kevin Durant, just kind of competitiveness. So you know that Russell Westbrook is locked in. Tonight he had 41-10-8. and eight. You know, the, the, those are the old, old Russell Westbrook numbers. And he still has a ton of fire. But ultimately, the Nets are shooting the ball at an amazing rate. And you can talk about defense. You can talk about a lot of things. But ultimately, if you have 17 turnovers to seven, if you're shooting 54% and, the, and you're giving up 50%, your scoring is going to be negated by, you know, your turnover issues. And so they have to correct that. But these were, you know, some amazing performances by the Brooklyn Nets. Joe Harris, uh, you know, Jeff Green played outstanding tonight. Uh, there was just a lot of, of positive things for the Nets, but ultimately the turnovers and, and the lack of defense late, you know, really hurt them. And coming up, it is the Los Angeles Clippers on the schedule. Everybody around the league is curious to see how the two teams will match up. Indicator is that the Harden injury is not very serious. The hope is that Harden will be a part of it. Did not play tonight. Left thigh contusion. The big three hoping for a reunion against a Clipper team that's playing at an extremely high level. That's on Tuesday night. Yeah, no, the Clippers are, you know, they're, it's the Clippers, it's the Lakers, you know, the Utah Jazz are playing great right now. They, they just lost to the Denver Nuggets. So, you know, that Western Conference is a monster. So for the Clippers to come over here and play against what you, you know, really believe is the class of the East. You know, I, I think you would put Brooklyn in the exact same category as the Milwaukee Bucks, the Boston Celtics, uh, you know, the Philadelphia 76ers, these teams that believe they have a shot to get to the NBA Finals. And, you know, Brooklyn has a lot of things that that, you know, they, they can build on, a lot of areas that they can improve on. But this Clipper team is going to be a very good litmus test because you know that this Clipper team is going to play defense. And so it's going to be a battle of, you know, who's going to be the first team to kind of relent, whether it's, you know, the Clippers trying to keep up with the scoring pace of the, of the Nets or are the Nets going to have to, you know, try and buckle down and defend, you know, in a similar fashion that the Clippers do. And the defensive questions will continue to pop up until the Nets can answer them on a consistent basis. The Nets' winning streak ends at four. They had a golden opportunity to make it five in a row, but could not finish against the Wizards. Back to you, Bob and Frank.